Hey guys, M12 Warthog here, back with another strategy guide, and today we are doing another mission from Battalion Wars, one of my favorite GameCube games ever. The Guns of Tiki Bay. Bay, an island belonging to the Solar Empire. In response, we are coordinating a counterattack with our Solar allies. This is good. We have solar allies with us. Alright. Commander, all you have to do is lead the attack on this side of the island. Simple, huh? I feel like there's gonna be a lot of issues. I offer forth a squad of my bravest men to help you in this endeavor. So, a very generous offer, Empress. We accept. Now that we've gotten the mission briefing, I'm gonna take a look at the island map and show you a little rundown of what we're gonna do. Because looking at the map is a great way to prepare. Or as Abraham Lincoln once said, "Give me six hours to chop down a tree." I will spend the first four sharpening the axe, so we're going to sharpen the metaphorical axe here. So, you look here, we know that they have fighters, air cover, but the air cover that they have is weak on ground, so that's pretty much good. They have air to air cover, and we got to look mainly what we have up here ahead. So, rifle... Assault vet. Assault vet. What do we have here? MG nest. Ack ack. Ack ack. So uh, we might want to take those out if we want anything. MG turret. Dirty low on health. Why I don't know. Oh! Sh crap. Okay, they have a battle station. I forgot about that. Alright, well. They have more actors, so they have a lot of air cover here, and they're more, they're more ground-based, so any, so more than likely if they want air cover or anti-vehicle, it's probably going to be a ground unit that's going to take care of that, rather than a gunship to take care of, like, heavy tanks and so forth. So, I feel like we need to, to deal with the ground forces, then get some air cover, deal with the fighters, or get a vehicle that will allow us to do so. Most likely, we'll probably have some resupply from a transport copter here. I don't know why the ak, -Ak haven't started shooting it down yet. Anyway, these are yellow. Yellow guys are good. So, if it's... If it's your first time playing a mission where you're with allies with someone, or if this is your first time, green is everything in your command, under, under your command or in your battalion, or pretty much Western Frontier. By the way, it shows up on the map. If it has a little yellow dime thing with the with with the circle with the line through it, like that that means it's part of your team, but you don't have control over that. And yellow is ally, and red is enemy. So pretty much that's all we need to know now. Uh, other than that, I feel like though, I feel like if I'm gonna go here, I'm probably gonna get to this bridge, go down here. Probably set up defenses out here. So we'll see. We don't want to let them get... We don't want to set our defenses too close because then we'll overrun the base. If we get overrun, we definitely want time for the... For the Solar Empire forces that are already there to dig in even more. and Give them a little warning so that they can defend if anything happens. Although, if my battalion gets overrun, then... um. We're pretty much dead anyway, and the mission fails. Alright. So, our solar vet allies are gonna help us, which is kinda good. Alright. They don't even have motor vets here. We have a lot of guys with... Ack, ack. Where are they? I saw one earlier. I don't know if that's just an MG nest. Oh, it's right next to him. Everyone, focus fire that. All right. Brace yourself, Commander. 
Retreat back. We had a slow moving object named gunships are designed for air to ground combat. I can tell you it would take forever for a gunship versus gunship battle to occur. Also, I told my uh infantry to retreat back because they have no hope to do this and you'd pretty much lose a lot of your infantry in this engagement with the infantry versus battle station. Unless all of them were anti-vehicle. Uh, and you had like 50 of them. But you don't have either of those. You don't have the amount of troops in you. And you don't have like... And not all your troops are anti-vehicle capabilities, so... Only two of them are. And that's what I like about the Assault Vet. They have the capability to damage anything. Even if it's not much, at least their ability to damage vehicles is there. Alright. So now I'm going to tell those to defend. I'm going to fly over here. Now the reason for this is because I do not want my gunship in a battle zone where there could be anti-air. Crap. Which means I'm now restricted. Now restricting myself to only telling all of my units individually what to do. Instead of using the all command because that's going to send everyone here. Take good care of it. Is it being attacked? Is that? No, that's just an... Ah, oh, great! Great! That's probably where the T-Copter was on the map. Alright. This one, we're sort of a race against the clock here. You gotta get there before that battalion battle station does. It will overrun them. We need to get rid of the air cover. Ooh! Someone just got burned. Lay down fire on them. Alright. Now strategically moving across the bridge here as this is going to be the fastest way. We need to do our best to set up defenses and do it quickly. Taking out all enemy air first is going to be our primary objective. Secondary objective is to get... Is to get... On the battalion station in a position where it's no longer a threat. And so forth, and then destroy any other enemy forces. Engaging high traction mode here, for obvious reasons. All right. Closing in on the solar base. We can't let it fall back into Exylvanian hands. Now to shoot down these fighters. Fighter jets are 
primarily going to be the best thing for air cover when you want something to be protected by air. objective here and what we need to do is to destroy that battle station it's gonna be slow moving all right everyone engage fast we take this down the better we're crunched on time but we did take this down in a timely manner Now, I did do this a little bit fast and a little bit rash, but that was because I was rushed. But I feel like here, the key main thing, though, is that you have to do stuff in a specific order. Sometimes, unlike the Herman's Heroes one, where you could jump around and choose which objective of the three you needed to complete first in order to win, because was was needed, although putting some strategic thought into it was necessary in order to make the most effectiveness out of your battalion and the best results for completing your objectives. Now here, we had to do objectives in a linear order. We had to take out anti-air, then we could send in air for the battle station, then we had to treat back our gunship, send forth our infantry, have that battle with infantry and other anti-air. Have that move up. Get the get the um reinforcements. Get the anti-air. All that stuff. Now, if anything, it's a bit of a linear way to do it. I also feel like we could have gotten there faster with the gunships assisting us to the final point where we made our stand. But at the same time, because I was rushed, I didn't do that much good on technique. I think most of that was largely in due to the part where I, I told all my infantry and, well, my whole battalion as a whole to attack that battle station. I feel like if I left my infantry behind, it would have taken a little bit longer and we still would have gotten it. But because it was too close to our to the base... I didn't want to risk it, though. Also, part of that is because I'm trying to focus on the game, but also explain this to you. As many of you know that a lot of games will get zero speed because I'm taking too long to explain things, stopping and doing that, and not pausing, because it's something on screen that I need to show you and all that stuff. But anyway, this is a pretty good solid strategy that I made use of here for this battle. Um, normally, I don't like to be in situations on battlefields where you're stuck like this, but where you have to do it in a linear way, but anyway, it provides, I, I think it provides a great challenge for me, though. Anyway, I think I'm gonna have to end off this strategy guide here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, taking the time to leave any comments, questions, or feedback for me. In the comment section down below would be highly appreciated, and I will see you guys later in another video. Bye-bye!